Hello, uh, my name is Shang Su. Uh, I'm currently in uh, the University of Toledo Health Science Campus, and I'm a postdoc now. I have been fascinated by the science and nature, especially by the biology, since I was a high school student. Really motivated by my high school teacher, he, she always in, encourage us to ask questions, or even those like which will be answered even now for the current scientists. But uh, and then I got my college degree with the biology and also the PhD. But you know the PhD really struggled me a lot, and actually I was questioning myself whether it's suitable for me to pursue that career. But later I actually tried to work in the company and also even in some other industry. But then I figure out my innermost enthusiasm was still to be exploring the science and the nature. Then so I quit my job and explore, apply for the postdoc job in US here. And I really enjoy working here. Our lab is currently studying the prostate cancer bone metastasis. And my project is more focused on the so-called tumor dormancy. So the tumor staying kind of like hibernating or sleeping. Yeah. So, you know, the prostate cancer is the second most lethal cancer in U.S. men. And, uh, you know, most patients, when they receive some treatment, they can be kind of cured. But later, several years later, they may get relapsed. So one explanation theory is that the, there are some residing or some residue of cancer cells in their bodies to keep in dormant, and then they get relapsed. So we are kind of establishing models to explore what happens to, to these cells and how to keep them dormant to make the people like live healthier, even with some little bit cancer cells. My education is like biology bachelor degree and then the PhD in biology science. And then uh, my, I'm currently studying the cancer cell in the uh, postdoc. Yeah, so, but actually in, in between my PhD and postdoc, I, I worked in an antibody producing company for almost one year. Yeah, so that's kind of a, one of the twists for my career path. But now I'm pretty determined to pursue an academic career in US. I'm currently in my, I'm almost reaching my fourth year of postdoc. So and I'm going to be promoted as a research assistant professor in my department in this coming July. So and also I'm holding a, a many grant from DOD. So I'm planning to get onto the job market next year to see if I can get some like assistant professor at tenure track. Yeah, and but I'm also like actively applying for more grants to get me more like, competitive in this job market. Yeah. So that's my career plan. To be honest, I think. Being a scientist is kind of a lifestyle that you, you actually get paid to explore what you are interested in and enthusiastic or curious about nature. Yeah, and then you also benefit other people with what you learn from your uh, project or studies. Yes, so, um, and you know, we, we are studying cancer, so it's kind of you can use what you learn and you are interested to provide some clues for some physician scientists or doctors to provide some technical or treatment for those patients, yeah. That's really rewarding, yeah, if you really have some discovery. And for advices for maybe people greener than me, I think, you know, to be honest, uh, being a scientist, it, it's not a career for everyone. You have to, you really try, take a try to see whether you, you really love this kind of stuff. Sometimes it's really frustrating because you do experiment and you will fail. You don't know, you, you don't even know why, <laughs> yeah, so I, I will, I think one key advice is just take a try and see whether you can imagine whether this is a life you can within your imagination and whether it's and you can accept it. Mm -hmm.